stunning Sony Centre in downtown Toronto for the Canadian Screen Awards. I'm Naomi Sneakers. And I'm Eli Glasner. This is the second year of the Canadian Screen Awards, but the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television has been honouring the best in TV and film for over 65 years. It's incredible. They don't really look a day over 64. Wow, you can so feel the excitement mm. in this building right now. And we have all these amazing Canadian celebrities all coming to talk to us, the little old us. And I have to talk about your amazing okay. outfit, Naomi. I mean, this is a little different from what we see you uh, wearing on Mr. D. It's it, true. It, it, who is it? Who okay, is well, first of all, outfit? I am wearing track pants underneath this for super oh, comfort okay. level. And I'm also wearing a Tory Burton dress from Hugo Nicholson and then lovely diamonds from Mark Lash. Real diamonds, so Beautiful. check Beautiful that out. Stuff. Yeah, and how about you, mister? What are you, I what are you am in Tiger of Sweden, so I'm a blue tiger. It's fantastic, and we're so excited to find out what everybody else is wearing on the red carpet style. So let's go have a look at that. This has been a huge year for TV and film in Canada, and it's a big night with a lot of awards being handed out. Let's hear from some of tonight's top talent. What are some tips that you can learn from this fabulous actress? I can learn from her. Uh, uh, work really hard on listening. What was that? <laughs> See, that's a sign she listened. I like that, I like that. This has been a really good week uh, to promote Canadian talent, and I love that they're cross-promoting with all the networks. To be able to bring everybody together, all of this talent in one place, and celebrate it together, now that's incredible. You're from Saskatchewan. Something's in the water over in that area, because there's some really talented actors that are coming from. What do you think is, the, is in the mix in the prairies? I think it's the Saskatoon Berries. Really? <laughs> what was it like with Gordon and Brendan on set? I mean, I, I can't even imagine. Well, every day was like a, a master class in acting, but the weird thing was, there's a lot of scenes where it's just the three of us, and I'm sitting there going, no matter how this plays out, I'm going to be the worst person in this scene. Now, tell me how many people come up to you just randomly in the everyday world and start pitching. Oh, I had two on the way in. Rod, you have your own show now. You have a, a staff of writers. They've got people lining up regularly to see you here in Toronto. You don't have to be on the road anymore. So why do you, you, why do you keep going? The road is where, um, where you really get to take the car out for a spin. It, it, it's the authentic work. I mean, Cosby still goes on on the road. Yeah. Seinfeld was the other it's side. True. Seinfeld was like two weeks on the other side of me when I was playing P.E.I. in really? Sydney. So, you know, <laughs> mind you, he was flying in a jet. I was taking a rental we car. We often <laughs> say you're the, the Canadian Seinfeld. And of course, it's a huge night for social media. I'm taking as many selfies as I can with these stars that I'm meeting. Okay, I, I want to take a selfie with you. Hold on. Well, all right, Eli. I don't mind if Here I do. Here we go. A little romantic. All right. Ready? Yes. It's clean, I promise. Love it. <laughs> While uh, we contemplate that image, uh, let's throw it over to the CBC Social Media Lounge where we have Jamie O'Dolis. Jamie, what's happening? Thanks, Eli. Thanks, Naomi. I am in the Social Media Lounge. I'm with Leah Collins. We're having a blast. We're taking selfies. We're taking photos. We're tweeting with the stars. Everybody's really loving this piece of Canadian movie history from David Cronenberg's Naked Lounge. And now you take a look at the top social media moments from tonight. A. Spencer wants to know, if you could act in the ultimate Canadian movie, who would be your ideal Canadian co-stars? Oh my gosh, uh, I would obviously have to pick all of my friends. I Heart Museums wants to know, Jay Baruchel, dreamiest Canadian out there in the film industry, what is your favorite Canadian thing you've shared with your friends in the U.S.? Uh, it's uh, uh, ketchup chips and trailer park boys. At Ready All wants to know, what are the actors' go-to breath fresheners? Must be a concern during kissing scenes. I bet they know some goodies. Do you know one? Is I would say Altoids. It has been an amazing evening at the Canadian Screen Awards. I've really enjoyed working with you again, Eli. It has been a pleasure to be with you here on this amazing red carpet. The energy, the stars, and I'm of course going to be watching you on Mr. D to see what your character gets up to. And I'll be watching your film reviews and reports on CBC News. I can't wait. Alrighty, thanks for watching and uh, congratulations to all the winners. Have a great night.